I want to take this opportunity to tell you about Dr. Cummings. He has a contagious smile, a golden heart, a very impressive work ethic, and the most delightful disposition. Dr. Cummings, thank you for this next step as Chancellor. You will be instrumental in changing the lives of thousands of people, from the students to the faculty. First and foremost, you lead by example. You adore what you do. You also adore the human beings that work with you, for you, and around you. Education is fundamentally what allowed you and allowed me to succeed professionally and personally. You are an example because of your education for the students of what they can achieve. Chancellor, just one thing I would really like to challenge you by is that to keep the heritage of this institution at the forefront. And I know that you know the history of the college and it was, it was implementation is to start as an educational opportunity for American Indians to further their education. But I think that also translates well today in that it still is a beacon of hope of educational opportunity to not only the American Indian, but to all races and to all ethnicities and to all backgrounds. We found that uh, working with Robin and others, we were able to be successful. And Robin played an integral role in that. He was active in our development program, uh, which I think probably brings a lot of strengths to the university. Uh, he dealt with community groups. He dealt with uh, other members of professional staff. And he was always was inclusive. He always thought about everybody who's gonna be affected by a decision or a program and made an effort to be sure that we tried to include everyone as we did plannings and develop programs. And I think that's a real strength, and, and I suspect that you'll find at the university setting, he'll do the same thing. He'll be very inclusive, he'll reach out, he'll want to know what everyone's thinking, and at the end of the day, he'll make the best decisions in the uh, interest of the patients, and in the university's case, in the interest of the students. To have him back here now as chancellor is just a tremendous, uh, asset for the university. He has of course known and worked with the university for years serving on the Board of Trustees and sharing it. Obviously it's something that he has been interested in throughout his life and it's just a great culmination to have him back here as Chancellor. I know he will do a wonderful job. He will take UNCP to even greater heights and I look forward to a continued relationship with him Robinson Community College wants to give a warm welcome to Dr. Robin Cummings, welcoming you back to Robinson County to lead UNC Pembroke. And Robinson Community College intends to walk with you, beside you, and work together. And we want to encourage Dr. Cummings and your staff and your faculty to reach out to us if there's anything that we can do to help UNCP to continue on its successful growth into the future. Dr. Cummins uh, obviously knows the community. I remember him uh, when he was a young man on the high school team here at Pembroke High School as a point guard for Mr. Ned Sampson. I knew then that he had leadership skills and it's certainly good to have him back here in the community and being a part of the Pembroke community as the chancellor of this fine institution. And it's my desire to work with him, along with him, uh, as he brings forth a legislative agenda that uh, our legislative delegation can support and promote this university and Dr. Cummins again congratulations I look forward to working with you in, in the coming years. Robin and I have been friends since childhood we went through high school together and he became a heart surgeon which we were all proud of and now he brings his expertise back to our community which at this particular time are well needed and I look forward to the collaboration that he and I are going to create between the Lumbee tribe and UNC Pembroke and the town of Pembroke. I really am so proud that Dr. Cummins chose to come back to, to this university and to this community at this point in his life. This is not something that he had to do, it's something he wants to do because he, I think he has a vision that is similar to uh, mine that we want to improve this area and improve the lives of our people. And he has a better and a bigger, broader vision to educate people of all nationalities and all races of our local area. and this whole United States of America, and I'm just so proud that he's come back here to do this. 
Lumberton and Robinson County has watched with pride as UNCP has grown to a student body of over 6,500 students while staying true to its core value of serving the local region. We are all excited that Dr. Cummings has returned home to lead this university into the future. and We stand ready and willing to support his every effort. The City of Lumberton looks forward to a long and productive partnership with Dr. Cummings as he continues in his campaign to change lives through education. Dr. Cummings, I think uh, under his leadership, you're going to see UNCP advance in a lot of different areas. I'm really excited, I think, because that this is his home and he's going to be so eager to help uh, some of the key problems we have in this county, and one of which is economic development. And I think you're going to see the university jump really hard in trying to develop some new ideas, solutions, and approaches to that. I'm real excited to be working with Dr. Cummings. I congratulate him again, and I just look so forward to what he'll be doing to help not only the university, but Robinson County. Dr. Cummings is very bright, and because of his, uh, his, his intelligence and his ability to get along with people, uh, he is, uh, attracts uh, collaboration and people to work together. And I think as chancellor of the university, he brings a set of uh, qualities that are unique in that he's very uh, caring, compassionate from the standpoint of being a physician for most of his career, and also because of his involvement in, in, in public policy and in statewide issues. It was my privilege to be the chairman of the search committee to bring a new chancellor to this university. We had a committee of 19 very diverse individuals, and we met for the first time on November 25, 2014 to start the process of selecting our new chancellor. That committee worked night and day, many hours looking at resumes, interviewing, discussing, debating, arguing. One name always kept coming to the top. And as we went through the process, uh, Dr. Cummings just seemed to meet all the needs, all the personality, all the traits that we were looking for. As individuals, we don't have to sell UNCP to Dr. Robin Cummings. He already gets it. He came here with it. He came to UNCP with a passion, a desire, and a love for this institution, the region that it serves, and everything that is about its past and its present. He has shown this campus off to leaders all across our state, nation, just in the short time he's been here. He, he sees this as the true jewel that it is, and he's ready to show it off and showcase it. In immediate conversation with him, you understand why he is the right leader for this institution at the right time. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we are honored to have such a great leader for this institution. To Dr. Cummings, congratulations on your new position as Chancellor of UNC Pembroke, and thank you for your leadership and service to our community. Under your guidance, UNC Pembroke will continue to lead the way in strengthening our economy, supporting job creation, and improving the quality of life for people all across Southeastern North Carolina. I'm excited for the future of the university and I look forward to continuing to be your partner. God bless you and go Braves. Congratulations, Granddaddy. I love you. Dr. Cummings, I am very honored and humbled to be asked to participate in uh, this program. I spent time taking care of your family and your dad when your mom's last baby was born and you were only two years old. And so I've known you and felt close to you since that time. And your dad and mom would be so proud of you as uh, I am and many, many others.